Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at a map called Visa Mosh. Uh, this map can be found over at modhoster.com and there will be a link in the description below. Uh, this is a rather interesting map with a lot of interesting details uh, that I hope to be able to point out to you. Uh, let me read you the brief description that is over at modhoster. It says, welcome to Visa Mosh. Uh, this map is a marshy area with many ditches. The landscape reads on the, um, basically by the North Sea. Uh, they take on running, uh, running an operation. Uh, there are 78 fields. This map has very fast traffic, so uh, be careful. Uh, <clears throat> there is liquid manure purchasing at uh, one of the cell points. Also, uh, the all of the stores are time controlled, so they all have opening and closing hours. And this map does support the seasons. Um, so it is fully seasons prepared. It does have a snow mask. We're going to select up the DLCs, uh, mostly because we're interested in the straw harvest add-on, uh, because we basically want to make sure that this map works with the straw harvest add-on. I have seen maps that do not work. In fact, I've seen maps that crash uh, if you select the straw harvest add-on. So let's go ahead and look at the log as the map loads up. See the map loads up error-free and there is a substantial amount of starting equipment. Go ahead and jump on in. So here's our starting point. We have some nice background birds chirping. Let's go ahead and look at the PDA. So here's the uh, map. Now these over here, these are rather interesting. These are kind of like, I guess, uh, perimeter fields for for visual aesthetics. Uh, so you can see kind of crops off to the uh, the side of the map. Uh, but basically, you own four fields from the start. And let's take a look at those. You own fields one, two, three, and four. There are 78 fields on this map. This is Lots of these fields are very, very small. You see there are many grass fields. Then you'll see there's large sections here that do not have any field numbers, uh, but appear to be grass. Well, they are not really usable. So here, all of this um, space here that is just still green, even after I've selected the grass, is all non-usable space. And we're gonna take a look at that uh, when we take a look around the map, because it is rather interesting what the map author has done here. So we do this video on hard mode and on hard mode, you can see we start with no crops <clears throat> in our silo. We have one main cell point that takes all of our grain. Uh, we've got a cell point that takes potatoes and sugar beets and the rest of the cell points take grass and hay or straw and hay. You notice none of the cell points except grass got the BGA and uh, this particular cell point also taking silage. Got a wood chip and whole cell point. And we have prices for wood chips and, or not wood chips, hay pellets and straw pellets right here. So as you can see, we own all of our equipment is all fairly new or low operating hours and nothing is leased. Let's go ahead and take out a bit of a loan. Okay. And let's take a look. So we have all three animal types on this map and we start with 20 sheep, 20 pigs, and 30 cows. Uh, we have uh, some hay and a little bit of water for the sheep. We've got a fair amount of food and straw for the pigs with a little bit of water. And we've got a small amount of water for our cows and a fairly bit good amount of power food, hay, grass, and straw. We also start out with 50,000 liters of liquid manure for our pigs and 80,000 liters of liquid manure for our cows. And uh, since we already start out with cows, we start out with a little bit of milk in the tank already. And our silo has a capacity of 100,000 liters. All right, let's take a look at that extensive starting fleet. 
see we start with two tractors, a Dutzfahrer and a Case 1455, range in horsepower from 143 to 145, so we've got quite the uh, varied engine power here. We've got front loader arms, we have a bucket, pallet fork, and bale fork. We've got a skid steer with a bucket, bale fork, manure fork. We've got the small case harvester with both the corn, little corn and grain header. We've got the front um, forage harvester for a chaff. This hooks on the front of a tractor. Now, interesting enough, this requires 155 horsepower, but our best tractor is only 145 horsepower. So we may, uh, may have some issues running that. We'll have to see. You'll have to see. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I don't think there's any corn uh, that we can chaff. We've got a harvester trailer. We have a potato um, topper. Sure, sugar beets. Okay, I thought this was potato, but we have the sugar beet topper and a sugar beet harvester. We've got a set of tippers, cultivator, plow, cedar, a uh, row crop cedar for our corn and sunflowers. We've got our fertilized spreader, uh, slurry spreader, manure spreader, a weeder. Couple set of weights. We've got the side mower, the tether, wind rower, forage wagon, round baler, pickup, water trailer, animal trailer, straw blower, TMR mixer. We have the potato and sugar beet conveyor belt. We have the um, interim conveyor belt. We've got the, I guess, the, the final conveyor belt that dumps. Got ourselves a chainsaw and a couple power washers. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Let's just add to our collection by uh, picking up the gator. And hopefully the traffic will not destroy us on the roads. So, there you go. You can see the traffic flying by right there in the distance. They are speed demons. Let's take a look around the cow farm. So here's our starting point, rather interesting uh, starting point. Now here we've got some of our hay and baling equipment. We've got the weeder, round baler, and whatnot. Spare PTO here in the back. Our more starting equipment. Like we go through a lot of PTOs. We got a lot of PTOs just lying around. Dual trigger. And this is a rather interesting aspect. Let's just So here's one of the ditches. These things are all over the place. It's traffic. any rate so let's take a look at this check this out we start out with 186,000 liters of silage already in a pit and here we can let's go to this side and we can uncover it and start scooping silage right away we also have some straw bales and some hay bales already Ready to rock and roll. So we not only start with cows, we start with hay, straw, and silage uh, to begin with. Our slurry pit. This is where we're going to be feeding our cows. Feeding trough for our cows. Over here, we just need to open this door. Here is our animal trigger to buy our cows. And the straw trigger is right here. This is where you're going to need to drive through to blow your straw. And here's the water trough for the cows. There's our cow pasture. So you'll see right here, so field one, which is over here, Here's a grass field one. Uh, this is a grass field that we own. 
Here we have another um, silage pit. It's uh, just kind of a ground pit. You don't really uh, have any walls to, uh, to push up against. See, to get to this, you have to come through this little gate here. The way you open this gate is just click and hold. If you release the mouse button, it stops. You have to click and hold. Open the gate. And then to get to field two, you're going to have to go down this rickety road here. Open the gate. You see, you're not going to be able to go around because you've got this big old ditch to deal with. And here you are in the field too. So you feel this, uh, this area you can't really get to. The ditch. There's the ditch. And these ditches are major. Very big heavy duty ditches. Let's run back here real quick. Show you the chickens. Here's our chickens, and I believe the eggs are going to spawn in here because there's no way to get into our chickens there. So hopefully the eggs are just going to spawn up here. That would be really, really cool. Yep. Here's our skid steer stuff, nicely placed on pallets. One of our tractors. Saw our skid steer over here. Now, let's take a look at the shop, see where we reset our reset point is. Reset point is at the shop. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump over here to um, the pig farm. Okay, so now we're at the pig farm. This is our pig shed right here. See, we start out with several pallets of pig food. You've got your water trough here, food trough, got some nice uh, guess, uh, birthing pins in here. Your silo, your tip in and your fill out pipe. Oh, this is what I want to show you over here. It's gonna... I just wanted to check and make sure that there wasn't anything in the um, in the uh, the tippers, since we do get so much other stuff. So here's our sheep. Also, there's the water trough and the grass hay trough for a sheep. Here you can see the wool spawn point right there. Right there, over there is our slurry point for our pigs. What I wanted to show you, stop here. We got a fuel point, some more of our animal stuff, more of our equipment. And we've got four bales of hay and four bales of straw also over here. But what I want to find is, is our manure pit. Here's a silage pit. Oh, this is the BGA right here. Here's your silo king. You can just uh, dump in there. It's the bucket I want. And your digestate tank. Now I know where the bucket is. Alright. We're going to go in here. And. What is that? I think. That is a pile of pig food. I didn't try this earlier, but I want to 
Test this out. It is indeed. We not only have pallets of pig food, we've got a uh, a uh, heap of pig food right here. That is that is so cool. So we not only get silage to start out with, we not only get several hay and straw bales over at the cow farm. We get hay and straw bales over here for the sheep and pigs. We get a heap of um, pig food here. Who knows how much pig food is 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 currently right here. We get pallets of pig food in the pig shed, and we've got pallets of seed right here. We've got two, I guess, uh, probably three uh, tip points in here to tip in crops. Uh, we've got our sugar beet planter and our harvester and tipper. Here's our belts we had. I'm going to show you guys that. I thought that was a really cool, um, interesting thing that we're getting all of this stuff to start out with. Uh, so if you're playing this map with seasons, and you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm playing with seasons. How can I start with 30 cows, 20 sheep, and 20 pigs? Well, it looks like for the most part, I mean, I don't know, if, probably going to run out of hay at some point before you can have mobile hay. But, uh, you know, for the most part, you are well set to uh, to start with your animals and not really worry about running out of uh, of crop. So here we have uh, field three. We also own. It's got wheat in it, so you can get uh, some of your crop for uh, your pigs and the straw. Got another grass field here. So let's go over here and jump to the shop. Here we are at the shop, nicely decorated. And what we're going to find is we're going to find all kinds of farming equipment scattered all around the map for uh, decoration purposes. It's really, really cool. Got an egg cell point. Church or a school around here somewhere. Some more of that uh, farm equipment that's scattered around. We're going to zoom on out here. Kind of have a look around before we, before we test ourselves with this traffic. So what we're looking at over there is the border of the map. To some degree. And directly in front of us here, uh, we've got the border there. Let's go ahead and pull this up so you can see the border wall. There you can see the border wall right there, the uh, red square. So everything past that is beyond a uh, usable map. Got some static animals scattered around. Got a, uh, an interesting, I guess that's a Bronco or something parked there right at the gate. And look what we got up here. We got ourselves a tractor. Try not to get destroyed by this traffic. We've got a tractor and a round baler um, parked over here in the field. This is pretty cool the way this has been done. Uh, this has been all set up kind of to uh, depict active farming uh, by somebody else other than you. So this gate is not usable. Grass in here is not accept accessible, and I really don't think it grows. I think it's just this state forever. Uh, but at any rate, we've got a nice Dutzfar tractor here with a uh, prone round baler. And uh, first I saw these bales, I'm like, oh, we've got a huge supply of bales just lying around. Uh, but these are static objects. We can't uh, manipulate these, so these are not usable bales. But I really like the idea of just having random non-player fields uh, that you really can't buy, you can't interact with, that have farm equipment set up in them. Kind of set the stage for uh, you know, kind of a little scene there. Obviously all the grass fields, there's not going to be missions on the grass fields. We'll have to see if there's missions on the arable crop fields. Let's go on in here, check out this little spot. You can see down in the mini map, we do have some equipment over here. 
Uh, so we've got some sheds over here, buildings with, uh, can't open the door. This is pretty cool. We can't open this door from the outside. We have to go in. Well, we shouldn't be able to. Trigger. Trigger is supposed to be only on the inside. But at any rate, what you're supposed to be able to do is you're supposed to have to go in through the door. And then you'll get the controls to open the door. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's close the door. Let's see if we come up here to this. We don't get that information. But somehow I must have managed to uh, to jump up there and, and trigger that. Around here we have our harvester and our two headers and header trailer. So this is kind of, I guess, a contractor's spot uh, with the, the contractor's harvester that we're able to use. And then plenty of uh, vehicle storage buildings and whatnot. Thought that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feature. These we can open because there isn't a uh, regular door. We do have some animated animals around here. I think there was a dog here at this particular area. go ahead and cut across here so first off I want to show you these ditches are it's a pretty these are rough I don't want to be getting a, down, a tractor down through there because uh, you might be getting yourself stuck so all of these fields pretty much have one way in so the field I'm in right now, you should have gotten in through the, uh, at, right there at the road. To get to this back field, you've got to, uh, stop it. It's, no, oh, okay. These are, again, non-player fields, it looks like. I was mistaken on that, so let's, uh. Try to get over here. All right, there we go. All right, so here we have one of the cell points and one of the animal buy points. There are three animal buy points on the map and they are for each particular animal type. So let's go over here and try to figure if we can find out where this thing is. There we go. So this particular location, we can buy pigs uh, and pick them up and deliver them to the farm. And right here is our cell point. Look at the F1 menu. We can see that uh, they open at 8 a.m. So let's uh, speed up time a little bit and uh, watch what happens. The rest of this is just nice deco. We've got some full slurry tanks over here. All right, it's about time for this thing to open up. So at 8 o'clock, you see the gate just uh, opens up, and this is where we can sell our sugar beets and our potatoes come by here at a uh, time that they're not open, you're not going to be able to sell your stuff. Pretty cool. Got some more static animals kind of in those non-player fields, non-playable fields. See, we can't cut across there. We saw what kind of a uh, hassle it is to try to get through those ditches. drive back on up here and uh, make our way over to the sawmill. Oh! 
I can squeeze through there. Here's the sawmill. And you can see the sawmill also has a time on it. There's a sign on the gate. Open from 8 to 5 p.m. Sawmill, we have a cell point for wood chips here. And toward the back, we have the cell point for logs. Right there. Some more static decorated uh, farm equipment in there. And of course, we've got a workable forest uh, right there. You've just got to uh, get over there. There'll be an access right there at the road. Now look over here. we got square bales in this non-player field. That's pretty cool. Don't just have round bales. Uh, apparently, this farmer that's working over here is a uh, person that works with square bales. Go here and check out field 43. It appears to be an arable, viable field. Got a tree that's kind of growing crooked there. Seriously looks like a... I wonder if this is... Point two eight hectares, $22,000. wondering if this is a usable heap of manure. It's almost worth... Uh, too far away. I just want to see if this is up. Oh, fuck it. I want to see if that's a usable heap of manure. That would be pretty cool if it would be. Where do we need to get to? Got here. We need to way. Uh-oh. Home button. Alright, there we are over there. This big old field of solar panels. That's pretty neat. Let's go this way. This is obviously a small equipment map and a uh, would not be uh, this might not be a good map for uh, keyboard drivers or people that have a hard time uh, driving in a straight line. Is this manure? It is. Oh my gosh! This is a huge usable heap of manure. How cool is that, everybody? That is totally totally cool. say I don't use the keyboard and what am I doing right now I just grabbed the keyboard and started driving oh well what else do we got to go here uh, let's continue our just general tour around uh, we've got a couple cell points down south to get to other than that it's just uh, kind of you know experiencing the uh, experiencing the map There is our pig and sheep farm. Obviously, that's where we came out of with the 1455. Got a uh, flooded, flooded field. Oh my! And 
Then directly in front of us is our cow farm. It's got to go by. Plenty of grass fields over here. They all show up as being needing to be plowed. Uh, and since the grass field shows up as being needed to be plowed, it can be fertilized, which means you can maximize your, your yield. Another small forest area down there. Another egg cell point, it looks like. And while this traffic is fast, you'll notice if we look, see those long collision boxes? Uh, so we don't really have to worry about uh, these guys just driving us over. That is really nice. <clears throat> Here we have, I guess, our main sell point for our crops. We have fuel, egg buy point, scale here. And we'll tip right here to uh, to sell your crops. Then you've also got a solid fertilizer, seed, and liquid fertilizer fill points at this location. going to turn in here. Again, we've got more of these uh, decorative bales just scattered around. And we've got what I'm assuming are decorative giant mounds of fermenting silage here. Because this, if you haven't figured it out, is the buy point for cows. Then... Rest here is just nice, simple decorative, decorative action going on here. Okay, let's jump back over here to our gator and get down to the last thing that I want to show you, which is obviously going to be the buy point for sheep. Field 13 we own, I'm sorry. Thought we only owned four fields, but apparently we own field 13, which is back there. say this is a great little interesting map for people that are looking for a challenge a uh, driving challenge obviously there's there's limited ways to get into each of these specific areas I really like the idea of having unique animal buy points for each particular animal uh, really really like these just static scenes that have been kind of set up to uh, to set the stage of a uh, working environment that is uh, someone else's working it. Got some more round bales there. We've got. It would be nice if these. Some of these sheep are animated. Like that one right there. But then there's other static sheep down here. So this is obviously the sheep buy point. Right here.
There we go. There's a sheep buy point. And we've already been to the pigs, right? And we've already been to the cows. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this right here, okay, this is a bale sell point, bale buy point, I should say. And the pig area also has a buy point for bales. Interesting enough, the cow area does not. Well, maybe it does. Let me look. I think it does. It's just the uh, the hot spots not listed there. Yeah. One. And Mueller is root crops. Okay. One, two, three. Those are the bale buy points. This is the root root crop buy point, and then this is for the rest of your your crops. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider clicking the like button. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the map. Uh, is this a map that you would be interested in playing or not? Uh, let me know. Uh, if you uh, are not a subscriber. Please consider subscribing. We do map videos typically every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, in addition, we do Let's Play videos on currently Midtown USA every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, until next time, guys, happy farming.